Hey, what's going on, everybody? Junior Muck Dog here, and today, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. In the previous episode, we took out downtown Bikini Bottom. We returned the steering wheels to Mrs. Buff, replaced Larry's antenna, and also took out the sea needle. We took out the tiki's, and it was a whole lot of fun. We returned 10 socks back to Patrick. And in this episode, we're going to be heading down into Goo Lagoon. Let's look at our uh, little hub right here. We have four pairs of underpants, 20 golden spatulas, 5,280 shiny objects and four socks meaning we only need six more socks to give to Patrick and we will be given another golden spatula we could go ahead and go into that area right now but let's we're gonna 100% the game so we need to enter into Goo Lagoon right now let's go ahead and do that of course we could also um, give some shiny objects to Mr. Krabs if we needed a gold spatula to get into here um, but we don't need to because um, like I said, we're going to need to use the shiny object to pay uh, for stuff throughout the levels. And uh, that's more important than giving uh, Mr. Krabs his shiny objects. And here we are. I don't know what SpongeBob is doing. Let's go ahead and destroy these tiki's. Destroy these robots. Let's see what the sign has to say. You can use the bubble bash move to move things. Stand under the platform and press the Y button to flip the platform over. Let's go ahead and do that triangle, and we did it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I said triangle because I'm used to the PS2, but I'm, I'm on a 360, so it was Y. Let's do that, and there we go. So now, let me. I want to get that green shiny object, so I think I got to do that first, and then do the bubble bounce, or bubble ba bash, I think it's called. I forgot. I think it's called bubble bash. Checkpoint, what do we got here? Another graphical glitch, as you can see, that guy is uh, not supposed to have uh, his arms like the elongated man freaking going all over the place. I see elongated man just because I watched that episode of The Flash tonight, and he's introduced and he's going to be a superhero. Watch out for his lightning attack. All right, we'll do that. I don't know why, but when I was a kid, I used to call this guy uh, Eugene. I don't know if it was because of his uh, weird glasses. He looked like a nerd. and nerds are usually named Eugene from my past experience so I don't know when I was a kid I called him Eugene maybe I missed that sign uh, but he is actually monsoon let's talk to my boy Larry do I look burned well you do look a little red barnacles that darn robot robot yeah a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen oh no everyone will burn and then they'll get all itchy and peel Exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Why do I have to Connect do everything? Why can't you do that? And the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all Take you some have to initiative, do is Larry. To the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I uh, can't swim. Uh, that's gonna be a problem. I think Larry can swim. Why don't you swim on over there, Larry? I like how if you hit Larry, he's just like whatever, brush it off, because he's so cool. Uh, by the way, I figured out what. Okay, I figured out what those basic robots. Uh, what their name is? Their name is, or its name is Fodder. Those little ones with the electric stick. It's, it's called Fodder. I don't know uh, why they named it that. Also, the uh, the little Goddard robots are called Chomp Bot. So that's pretty cool. And, oh, oh, yeah, the um, the the one that throws the water missiles, his name is Chuck. And also, this is a graphical glitch. It's not supposed to be black across the edges here. It's supposed to be clear. But it's black. Um, okay, so we're switching to Patrick for a good reason. You probably do not know what that reason is for right now and as you can see the saddle shadow box for Patrick is still messed up so we're gonna okay there's no way we can kill monsoon as Patrick that's great actually there is we can throw this at him I think this will work there we go yeah it works I've only ever thrown thunder tiki's at robots with Patrick I've never actually thrown a regular tiki or I've thrown other robots but I've never thrown a basic tiki all right pick up the watermelon this is why we're doing this bunch of parkour stuff on the beach towels a whole lot of fun and we made it that easy hit that one and now they're starting to move also I got another Moab today by the way Modern Warfare 3 it was a lot of fun I did it with the striker with red dot and stalker on it I don't 
The reason why I was doing that is because I saw so I was like, I wanted to get the striker gold in that game, and the, the easiest way to do that is doing the challenges for the weapons, which I've done the extended mags one and the the grip one because those are the ones I used when I unlocked them. Um, but uh, you get more XP for using the red dot and then the holographic sight if you get a ton of a bunch of kills with those and stuff like that. So I put a red dot sight on it. I saw someone else doing good with it with Stalker, so I did that and put range on it because range really helps a lot with a red dot and Stalker Striker, which is an abomination. I just feel dirty using it, but I'm trying to get a gold, okay? And I got a Moab with it on Dome, and the unfortunate part was I got it with like seven, with uh, 7,000 points left, uh, which means five more kills and the game is over. And uh, someone called in a Stealth Bomber that got three kills, and then that same guy got two more kills like a douchebag. But uh, it doesn't matter. I called it in. It doesn't matter. And they were all dead anyway from those kills. So even if he didn't kill like that last guy, I would have only gotten like two kills with the Moab. So two kills, it doesn't really matter, okay? It does not matter to me. So, oh, wait, that's right. I need to be SpongeBob so I can hit these uh, reflectors. I, I I recorded that with my HDPR in theater mode. So I might do a commentary over it if I ever need to talk about something ever. I can do it over that. That's the I, that's that's the second Moab um, or the third Moab technically or the, the the actual third Moab I've ever gotten. The fourth technically, but like I said in the original commentary, the fourth one I got or the first one I got was I don't really count it because it was like a face off and I think the guy was trying to feed me kills and kill confirm so he could pick up his own tags and get more points. All the kids watching this game watching me play this are not understanding anything about what I'm playing because they're not allowed to play Call of Duty and they just like SpongeBob. Call of Duty's fun. You should go play it, kids. Just tell your mothers, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fun little, uh, little arcade game on PlayStation. Buy the older called Call of Duties because they're only like twenty bucks. Uh, like Black Ops One, I think is like twenty bucks on Steam, and then I think you can probably buy it on eBay for like ten bucks. So it's like it's a little arcade game. Look, it's only like ten bucks. Then you're gonna be shooting fools. They'll probably they'll probably catch you eventually, but. Um, you know, have some fun while it lasts. We gotta hit all these lifeguard towers until it hits that one out there. And I think I've done this wrong, because if, if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna hit this one, and then I'm gonna... It's gonna be messed up. Yep. Gosh darn it. I knew it, it's, it wasn't gonna... It's not supposed to connect to this tower. I should've went back and uh, hit the other one. Yeah, this episode might be a little longer, because um, I'm just gonna keep messing this up. Bad. Okay, hit this one. It's funny, when I played through this the first time on 360, I did that in my first attempt. I should have probably remembered that or wrote it down somewhere, but I didn't, because it's not that big a deal. Go back and hit it again. We're already 10 minutes in and we're, oh God, that's death. <laughs> that guy's um, trampoline belly doesn't count as a spot, I guess, to go back to once you've landed in goo, so you just instantly die, which is terrible. Okay, I did hit that. So we're gonna hit this one. I think that. Nope. That's not supposed to work like that, right? Yep, you gotta do this one. I think this one connects to that one, and then we can hit that one back out into the one out by that other robot. What's also cool with that robot, if, uh, if you have the cruise bubble, you can hit it from here. Um, and then it, everything works out fine. All right, we gotta hit the other one. Also, speedrunners, what what they'll do is they'll um, they can they have a way to get over there from here, and then they can actually just straight up hit the robot and uh, kill it because it's just like a normal robot. You get shiny objects from it and everything, and um, then it, it does it, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna talk to Mrs. Puff. What do you got for us, Puff? The children's balloons have been overfilled. They're carrying the children out of control. I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. How do you know about my moves? Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff. I don't know how Mrs. Puff knows my moves. But we're going to hit all of these balloons. There's a little shadow under them, so it makes it a little easier. There are two that are more difficult than the others to uh, get down. So hopefully we can get those. 
relatively quickly. That would be that'd be ideal, of course. Oh, here we go. Oh, I did it. Oh, okay. I thought I did it too late. I did not. So it was very nice. Oh, please don't hit me. I tr I press B. Un freaking believable. I'm stopping the let's play. Gosh darn it! You gotta. Very unsettling. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Quick, 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 quick. Got it. Parkour over. Thank you. We got it. That that one's a pain. The other the other ones are a pain too. But that's that's a pretty big pain right there. And I do see the sock. Let's grab the sock. Perfect. Oh, can I make it? Make it. No, I can't. Okay, I don't know how I how I got hit up there. That's fine though. Let's go up here. And okay, can you can you not get in the goo? I'm freaking cracked here. Pick up that pair of underwear. Destroy them tikis. And then we're gonna destroy these tikis as well. Make sure we destroy the stone ones, so we'll break those regular ones. And here we go. So now what we're gonna do is first off before we go and get those other uh kids flying throughout the air in their little balloon we're gonna pick up these stone tiki's and we're gonna throw them over here and you're wondering why well it's very simple we're gonna get ourselves another golden spatula thank you and now we got to pay 2200 shiny objects do you want to feed the clam 2200 shiny objects yes i do and once we do that a button pops up that we are going to throw this watermelon at like we've done so many of other times before and then when that happens we get some trampolines that we can jump on or little life rafts with uh, trampolines on them hut, hut, hut. thank you I don't know why those uh, those dragons are there you can't really you'd have to be a fool to hit those somehow because you can just jump right over them I don't think I can make that jump Okay, okay, yep, that's it. God damn it. I, I I clicked in the right stick, but for some reason I did that. I just look Like, if you even, like, touch the analog stick in any direction, you just straight up, straight down. It's a little ridiculous. Let's get across. Oh, God, please don't wait. Please don't wait. Thank you. Oh, that one's over it. <laughs> I didn't know that one was actually over it. That almost killed me. And we made it. Thank you. Let's go ahead and pick up our 21st shiny object. Looking. Why do I keep calling them shiny objects? I never in my life have called them shiny objects before. And now I'm calling these freaking golden spatula shiny objects. Starting to get a little annoyed here, bud. They are golden spatulas, not shiny objects. Please remember that. And don't say it again when I'm going to be upset with it. Oh god. Okay. Let's Oh, we challenged it. And it worked out. Can I belly flop on these? Nope. That doesn't destroy them. I mean I can belly flop on them, but it doesn't destroy them. Like I thought they would. Activated checkpoint. I just activated it twice, I feel like. Alright. Back in to SpongeBob. And here we are. I can't, swim. I can't swim. Yeah, but you can hit into it and then bounce right back. Not on the little trampolines, though. So this guy's a pain. The other one's a pain, too, over there, but this one is a, a pain in particular. Just. He looks like he's going to one spot and then he oh okay and then he doesn't and then he just changed to it and then he actually was and then you end up like there usually I would just go over there but I've learned to wait it out because he looks like he's going over there and then nope he was actually going to where you were originally and you thought he was going you try to you try to you know be smart okay, here we go. this guy however just goes right where he looks. The other guy does a little bit of dancing. Like Barry. Like Barry Sanders. Hey, Miss Puff. Can I get my... my hero. You've saved Thank you. I will definitely take this golden spatula. 
Not a shiny object. Don't activate the checkpoint. You know why we didn't want to activate the checkpoint? Because we want to go over there. And, okay, can you? Thank you. We might as well just die. We can get over here. Thank you. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. For me money. This, I think you can get hit here because you're not. Okay, maybe not. All right. Hello, Monsoon. Can you please stay away from me? I don't worry. Let me, let me take you out. Boom. Okay. So, we need to get a sock by doing this. All right. Ready? Huh. 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 Made it. Thank you very much. Get on top of this. Pick up that sock and talk to Bubble Buddy. SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. I am. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sand castle, right. That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. What do you mean, Bubble Buddy? What am I going to have to do? Ow. Just hit this button, very inconspicuous button. And, oh no, the water is water. rising. Oh no. Huh, huh. We're not gonna make it. Oh wait, there's a shortcut right here. We're gonna make it. <laughs> this Reezy Fruit's for the for the water, so you can get that uh, sock over there. Um, we're gonna do it a different way because screw it. Um, it. It's rather difficult. So if you guys are at home and you haven't played it uh, this game a lot like me, and you want to do it that way, switch to Patrick. Wait till the water gets to its highest, and then throw it, and then you can get that sock. But I'm going to do it a different way because it is ten times easier for me, at least. Uh, not, not so much that this is easier, it's just that it saves more time. Uh, I guess maybe not if I did that origin, if I just originally, you know, was Patrick and was up here, but I'm not going to do that because I like to be my boy Spongebob. I like to bubble bash. I guess that's the move that, okay, that's the move that, um... Spongebob has his own right now would be the bubble bash. I think I said in the previous episode that Spongebob doesn't really have his own move um, but he does. He has the bubble bash. I just it completely slipped my mind at the time. It's just such a basic move to me at least. Okay. So we're gonna head up here. So this actually might not be the time saver that I think it is because if I'm not mistaken yeah this probably isn't gonna be the time saver that I thought it was. Huh, did I hit a checkpoint up here? Yeah, there's a checkpoint over there, right? Okay, so this, that, I guess that makes it a little easier. Okay, so we're gonna head over here. Oh, no, we gotta go over here first. We're gonna head over here. We're gonna, we're gonna hit these tiki's though, so we can get some shiny objects. Thank you. Okay, head over here, head over here. Hup. Hup. We're gonna hit this, and first things first, up here. Boom, we get ourselves a sock. Get back down for the explosion to get a nice little super ultra mega monster combo. And we're gonna do this. Ready? 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 Got it. Thank you very much. And now we need to die so we can get back up to that checkpoint. Thank you very much. And now we just have to go. Oh, wait, never mind. We just spawned right here. I thought we were gonna spawn over there. This isn't this is a checkpoint here. I'll take it, I guess. Let's parkour for this uh, green shiny object if we haven't pressed our luck enough. Thank you, and we're going to parkour back because we're cool like that. Alright, so now we are going to be heading into this next area of Goo Lagoon. Oh, I can't get through those. God, I had to go around them. Alright, we're going to be entering into the Goo Lagoon Sea Caves. Very, very spooky indeed. Hello, Gary. What's new? Ow. You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. Whoa. And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. Wow. He's so crazy. Oh. Alright, I didn't know I was gonna hit the water of that. Please pop up. Thank you. It doesn't actually pop up, the water just goes up and down for some reason. Get out of here, chomp bot. 
such a weird name. I'm gonna call him Goddard still. He is Goddard. That's fodder. That's that's basic robot and uh, Goddard up there. That's, that's definitely not fodder and chomp bot. I think it's fodder. Fooder. I'm pretty sure it's fodder. Okay, please. Please don't die. Come on, my sock. Thank you. That was the... Okay. That was the sock that I got last when I 100% of this game for the first time. Because uh, that's a completely ridiculous bot. Because I looked on the... I, I googled, like, where's the last sock? And it, I, I didn't even look at the pictures because I wanted... I was just in such a rush. I was like, where's the last sock? And it's like, it's in the pool of Queen she cage. Right by the entrance. And I was looking forever. I was like, there's no sock here. And then I looked up a video after like 15 minutes of me looking around like a buffoon. And I finally found it. And I was so happy. I finally found it. Yeah. It was a great feeling at the time. We're going to parkour across all of these floating tiki's. I don't know what the floating tiki's are called. I know these are thunder tiki's. These are just tiki's. The sh tiki's. Stone tiki's. Are they called floating tiki's? Or are they just called tiki's? Or are they just... They have a specific name. Because if, if they didn't tell me the name of the, the thunder tiki's, I would call them uh, explosive tiki's. And um, if they didn't call me the stone tiki's, maybe I would just call them the rock tiki's and the sh tiki's, maybe the shy tiki's. That's what I used to call the, sh the sh tiki's. I used to call them the sh tiki's for some reason, and I don't know why. I fell down. I need to lay back down. Okay, don't hit the spike. Hit that. Okay, nope. Hit that. Thank you. And we've officially run out of the animation budget. For these things falling. Like that. What up? Got him. Wait for this. Okay. I keep saying wait for it to pop up. It's not gonna pop up. It's just the uh the water's rising and lowering and I don't know why it's doing that. It's gonna be re weird like I said earlier, but you know, nothing I can do about it. Oh no, we still have some animation budget left. There we go. Drop down and jump down. I guess this doesn't really do anything for the budget. It's <laughs> just, just more camera work. Also, this is a graphical glitch as well. And you can just see right through that. It's not supposed to happen. But it's not game breaking, okay? It's not It's not that big a deal. I don't know why I didn't take damage there on that goo. Alright. Here we got Hammer and Monsoon. I also learned the names of other robots that, uh... I mean, I knew I knew their names. It's just I forget them because whatever. I don't even know the name of the robot. There's a place to find out all the robots' names in uh, this game. Uh, it's in the second area. I'll go in there probably at the end of the let's play because if I go in there, uh, like if I were to go in there now, like if I had it available to me now, I would just see all the robots I've already been introduced to, and then I would just have if I I would just keep going in there every single time I learned a new uh, I saw a new robot why would I oh wait no I sh didn't mean to go in there why would I do that when I could just go in there at once and read them all off at the end of the let's play that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna do this also break those tiki's again and then we're gonna go back to the beginning here and we're gonna switch into Patrick and you are like why would you do that why would you go back into Patrick very good reason very good reason. We got ourselves a little freezy fruit here that we're going to throw into the water. By the way, I apologize if this... Okay, I, I missed the water. I apologize if this Let's Play isn't great. I'm a little tired right now. I just got done handing out candy for my uh, older sister uh, at her house for Halloween. Very cold. I'm probably going to die soon because uh, I'm still cold in my room. I probably should have put a sweatshirt on. And also when I'm cold, I don't commentate as well. But it's like, how do we get all the little, little, blah, 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 like that? I get all tongue tied when it's cold. I don't know why. I also play bad when it's cold. Maybe it's just an excuse. I'm cold all the time because I always play bad, I guess. But your boy got two Moabs in the span of a week. So maybe I ain't that bad. Maybe maybe I'm just good, huh? Maybe maybe I thrive Sorry, on cold. But the carnival is closed. No, it was hot that time. It wasn't cold. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse. Me money. If you help me get rid of that no-good robot, I'll give you a big reward. Show sure enough, Mr. Krabs. I also have no clue how to get those shiny objects over there. Maybe you're able to make it over there as a... Uh... Okay, I didn't see fodder there, goddammit. 
<laughs> Maybe you're able to get over there as SpongeBob. Uh, but I'm not sure, and I don't want to test it right now. I don't want to switch back to SpongeBob and then um, go over, jump, miss, turn back into SpongeBob, or make it and just get a couple of shiny objects. You know what they say, time time is shiny objects. Time is golden spatulas. Something like that. What up, fodder? Boom! What up, fodder? Boom! I can't wait to find out that I'm pronouncing that well, name wrong. It's not exactly what I had in mind. I hope my insurance covers all this. Why don't you try something the less crab ends, I need them crazy robots cleared out of the bumper. You saw, you saw crab patties you here? Destroyed them all, like Patrick. Come back Patrick's always me. hungry. By the way, this isn't a graphical glitch. If you see in the air, it's kind of like at the corners. You can see like the sky. It's all weird doing things. You'll see as it's going, but it's like, it's kind of weird. Uh, that happens on every version of the game. It, happens. it might be a graphical glitch, but it's not because it's on 360. It, it happens on, uh, P it happens on the PlayStation 2. It happens on the, the original Xbox, and it also happens on the GameCube. Uh, at least I know it happens on the PS2 and the original GameCube. Or the original Xbox. I don't know about the GameCube. I haven't seen, I, have I seen, I have seen one Let's Play of people doing this on the, of somebody doing this on the GameCube. I shouldn't say people, it was just one dude. But, uh, he had a ton of, ton of problems. The GameCube version is just not good. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's because he played it on a Wii, or if it was just because it was the GameCube version. It might have been because he played it on a Wii. And it had some problems, but, uh, I, I haven't had those same problems. But he had, like, game-breaking problems on the GameCube version he played. Like, he had, like, 16 socks, and he gave them to, uh, to Patrick, and the Patrick took all 16 socks and gave him one golden spatula, and then it wasn't even like he went back there with four gold, four socks, and then he got his golden spat, and then he got another golden spatula because it all equaled to ten. Nah, he just ate them, and they went into the ether, and didn't give you that shiny object. You'd have to get ten again. So basically, you just down six uh, golden spatulas, and I don't know if you could have like twenty, and then you could just get two, or if you just it eats all tw all all the extra ones. I don't know if that happens every time you play. Okay, I'm about to, I'm about to legitimately die by running out of underpants. I haven't done that in a while. I'm playing this game. I've died by falling off the world. I haven't been killed by a robot in in my runs in a long time. If you don't cop, if you don't, uh, if you don't include the boss battles, then uh, I haven't really been. I haven't been killed by a jellyfish. I haven't been killed by um. I don't know if I. I don't think I've been killed by a thunder tiki. In all my 100% runs, maybe the first two. But once you become familiar with the game, oh, it's easy. SpongeBob needs the bubble ball move power to play the ski ball game. Well, I'll be learning that soon, and I'll be right back to play some ski ball. You don't get a sock or golden spatula or anything. All you do is just get uh, a maximum of 50 um, shiny objects, which is kind of not worth it. But yeah, uh, and huh. I still have never hit that duplicate of Tron with that watermelon and not have died. Every okay, I gotta switch back into SpongeBob for something. Every single time I've ever destroyed that duplicate of Tron with a freaking with the freaking uh watermelon, uh, I've always died. I I've tried to stop and throw it right like right before, but every time I try and stop and throw it. I get hit by the freaking fodder robot right here, and he just hits me right off the edge, right into the rain of the goo, and it's ridiculous. I just get completely destroyed every single time. I, I, I'm gonna. Ch oh, that's gonna be a goal of mine one day. I will destroy that duplicatotron without dying, and it will happen soon. All right, we have another graphical glitch, as you can see by the flowers, but we also have another uh, clam toll that we can pay 2,200 shiny objects to uh, in order to go up here. Go up to this little tower and bungee. I didn't want to spoil it before we got up the, the little pillar. And what are we bungeeing for? Let me get all the shiny objects. We are bungeeing for a golden spatula. I swear, those these little golden spatula bundies 
or bungees. I don't know why I said bundies, but all these golden spatula bungee hooks, um, they must have been like at the end at like an odd number of golden spatulas, like 86 or something. And they're like, guys, we need some golden. We need to add golden spatulas in here. We can't put it here because it's too obvious. How about we just freaking take all of their shiny objects so at the end if they want to give Mr. Krabs all of the shine all the shiny objects he needs to get golden spatulas, he has to freaking grind for them in a certain area in the lighthouse. Well, that sounds like a great idea, Bob. No, it doesn't, Bob. Freaking terrible. Why would you put these little tolls here? I get like the little I get I get the tolls for like two thousand shiny objects to get into like a new area or something like that, you know. Do that. That that I I still I don't like that either, but you know at least it's something interactive and fun to keep you getting shiny objects. I get shiny objects that have other purposes as well, but really we're gonna have five of the freaking clams in each level just draining you. And then there's one level later on where you need shiny objects in order to get into any area, and it's just ridiculous. And you always have to grind for golden spatulas to get into. Or not to get into anywhere, because you'll find enough to get into areas along the way, but then you have to grind for golden spatulas for Mr. Krabs, and it's ridiculous. My last 100% run, I just straight up was like, F this. I'm just going to freaking... I'm just going to put in cheat codes for it. I won't do it in this one. But, um... I want to. Because it's terrible, but this will be a cheat free world. Cheating ain't cool, dog. Not cool. Can't do anything by the book. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this freezy fruit into the goo. We're not going to hit that this little other freezy fruit location because uh, I don't, I'm too good for that. I can just straight up go this way. MacGyver our way around. That, um, that little boat. And we made it. Thank you very much. Pick up that golden... Bachelor. All right, let's go ahead and throw you into the goo again, and on our way. Bum 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 kind of thing going on. We gotta talk to Mr. Crab so we can get our uh, golden spatula back. I don't like playing like that, though. I like playing like this. Here is your we should do an episode like that so I can make everybody mad that hates this angle. Because I know I hate this angle. I was gonna watch somebody do a Let's Play of this because I, I liked their other videos in the other Let's Plays they did, and they also play Call of Duty and stuff. And back when I liked Minecraft, they played Minecraft. Um, but he accidentally did this and played it like that and didn't notice. I guess he just did it like out of a, out of a sign and looked away for something cause he live streamed it. Um, and, uh, I could not watch the let's play because it was infuriating. It just, you couldn't, you can't see anything. Ridiculous. Anyway, that teeter totter takes us back over here to this other light tower. Um, we're going to get out of this cause it's, it's, it's I'm getting mad. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and hit this bus stop. And now we are SpongeBob, and we can hit this right here, and that reflects the sun on the sun ray onto the hammer, and we get the shiny objects from him. And then, boom! Look at that—we got ourselves a little little life raft trampoline. Let's go ahead and jump on that bad boy. And what up, Larry? Congratulations, SpongeBob. You're king of the beach. Here, have a golden spatula. Bash at the beach. WCW pay per view. All right, let's go ahead and pick up the final golden spatula in this area. I believe, I believe I've picked them all up. Yeah, I've picked up eight. I had 20 at the beginning of this. I have eight now because that's how many you get per area. Do we have all the socks? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead. I guess we're gonna teleport because that's kind of out of the way. The original taxi is kind of out of the way to go back. So we have defeated Goolagoon, never going back there, except for maybe if I want to do some Bubble Bowl. We have 15 socks that we're going to give to Patrick. What a Pat. There you go. Okay, here's some socks. Give us that golden spatula. We now have 29 golden spatulas. 
We're gonna destroy these tiki's because I can. I want five. Give me five thousand. Give me five thousand shiny objects. I want five thousand shiny. I'm not gonna be able to get it. Okay. Uh. Anyway. Oh wait. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? We're so close to five thousand. Uh, we're not gonna end this part until we get five thousand shiny objects. I refuse. I want them. I'm greedy for them. Oh, I want exactly five. I want exactly. I might be able to get exactly five thousand. Okay. Let me show you one. Oh, I got exactly five thousand. Five thousand shiny objects. Five socks. Twenty-nine golden spatulas. Four pairs of underwear. In the next episode, we're going to be... Well, first off, we're going to go ahead and open up this toll. And in the next episode, we're going to be entering into the Poseidome. And then we're going to be going on to the next area of Bikini Bottom. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to comment, like, favorite, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all later. Peace out and take care.